For the paper clip rings, I use the 28 millimeter regular size paper clip. You need a round form, so a marker or a ring cone, and your tools. If you don't have paper clips, the best thing to use is stainless steel wire. This is 20 gauge. It's quite stiff, just like the paper clips. You can use 20 gauge tarnish resistant brass, tinned copper, or any half hard wire. And if you only have a softer wire, use a little thicker, like 18 gauge. We always start with opening up the paper clip with our flat pliers. You can do this by hand, but it's easier to do with the pliers. So just go slowly and pinch it along as you go. You just want to get it as straight as you can. For the yin yang ring, we are just going to take our round pliers and bend this around bit like that. We're starting to form a little bit of an S shape. Try to get each of these to be the same size so the S part will be centered. So just keep bringing it around and then you want to hold these and curve it around and do the same on this side. Hold this and curve it around. We can get in with our smaller pliers and just bring this one right around. Try to get them round. It's okay if they're more oval. Just wiggle these around. Try to get them as even as possible and then we're going to hold these just to close up those gaps. Hold it with the flat pliers, bring it like that. And then we'll get our round form or our marker and just bring the end around. This one too, we're just gonna bring it around. And then you can take your round pliers again and just curve out the back. This one too, we're just going to curve it around. If you want to do loops to finish these ends off so they're not sharp, you can do that too. Otherwise, you can just hold it with your flat pliers and bring these in so it hugs the finger. Just wiggle them around until they're lined up. So this is the basic ring. Grab your white nail polish and just wiggle it in here to fill up that space with white. Go up as far as you want. If you get too much, you can just take a little bit off, turn it around, and then we'll get the black and just wiggle it on the other side. Bring it up as much as you want and let that dry. The other thing you can do is wait to curve the wires and just paint it first. So we're just going to put the white on that side. And then the black over here. And you'll see when you flip it, you can see a little bit more of the wire. Once it's dry, you can dip it in the nail polish with a toothpick and just do a little dot for the eye. Same thing on the other side with the white. And there you have your beautiful and unique yin-yang ring made with a paper clip and nail polish.